along with the course, uh, I want to show you the different elements of the parametric stuff that Revit has. Uh, like you said, uh, like, like you know, Revit is a software parametric that is related with the custom. For example, you see it, I think, uh, some element is related with all or with one of them. For example, for this one, you can see uh, we have the location line in the wall center and the base constraint is to the row. Uh, to the top constraint is to the level parapet. This is the principal reason that the wall moves when I change the height of the par parapet. For this example that you see in the, uh, another video. If you see, we have a lot of uh, instance parameters that uh, it will be helpful for uh, good information. For this one, uh, there is the another, the grid. You can change the grid and maybe change your different elements because it is related with some grid. For example, if I go, I try to delete some view, you can see that the view is delete, but uh, the level is in the same size, for this example. But if I try to delete the level one elevation view, now you can see that it's a per a warning. It's very important that you read all the warning that it's a per. For this example, uh, the program tell me that if I delete this level, some effect uh, has in my project. For this example. Uh, the view uh, are delayed. Uh, some uh, families will be delayed if I apply this thing, and it appears that if I am sure that if I want to delete this particular view, it's very important that you see uh, if you delete some element, which elements are affected with this uh, with this thing that you you do for example i un undo this action that my element uh, don't delete and for this example if i try to move this grid for this, uh, maybe uh, to the right and now you see that uh, we have the parametric uh, instance with this column. And we have some element that it will be parametric with another, and it will be not parametric. It depends uh, where uh, you model the, this element. For this example, another important stuff that you maybe uh, need to do is uh, pin all this important element that you don't want to move. For this example, uh, we have the selection like AutoCAD. If you select uh, right to left, if you only click, uh, the element is selected. If you select left to right, you need to select all the elements that you can uh, choose. For this example, like use this selection and maybe I don't want to move my grid. For this thing, I need to pin this grid that if for any any move, accidentally move the, the grid, the software tell me that I can move this element because uh, it's pin this element. Now, if I try to move, for example, uh, a pyramid that I, I can move this element because it's pin. If I want to move, maybe I need to pin to, uh, to try to move this element. But this is uh, one important uh, reason that uh, you can pin this element because uh, the grid uh, usually don't move constantly. 
well, I see another video and I want to show you more tips before start using Revit.